If you have a dream car, a car that you've been wanting your entire life, the new fucking Audi R27 Lamborghini XWY, I genuinely think you're a pussy. I've never been much of a materialistic person. I mean, I bought my car, um, used car, Honda Civic 2018. love it but i didn't really need it honestly i'll be honest i didn't really need the car i could have bought something a lot cheaper for like a couple thousand dollars right but instead i wanted the honda because it was a little bit nicer had better gas mileage and i wouldn't look as broke right that's the real reason why i bought the car eighteen thousand dollars the car cost me i bought it i saved up for it while i was in the military i didn't need it though Okay, do I appreciate it? Yes. Do I have a dream car that I want? That I've always wanted my entire life? Fuck no. What is a car? It gets me from point A to point B. Do I want it to look stylish? Sure, a little bit, but I'm not going to pay upwards of like $50,000 to $200,000 for a fucking car. Why do you want a fancy car? Do you genuinely think that oh my god it's so cool like oh my god the car looks so good it has this the turbo blah blah blah, blah the spoiler on the fucking thing the body kit blah, blah 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 what the fuck are you talking about do you genuinely think that this fucking piece of metal is going to make your life happier what exactly are you looking for in the car you want people to turn their heads while you're driving it and look at you for like three seconds some random fucking person on the street that you don't give a fuck about you want them to look at you and admire you. You want love, you want appreciation. That's what the fucking car is for. Status, money, a symbol of success. You might have been brainwashed by advertisements when you were younger, right? The fancy car pulling up in a pulling up in a fancy fucking whip with the hot girl right next to you in your seat. It's still a fucking car, okay? <laughs> like it sits in the driveway. It sits in the garage most of the time. Why would you pay more than like $20,000 for a car? If you're from the United States, you kind of need a car in certain cities, right? I live in the suburbs, I need a car to fucking get around. And not to mention, most people buy a car that they can't even afford. You can't even pay the entire price of the car and you get it anyway, with a fucking loan. Let's say the car is worth $50,000, right? And you only have 10 k in your bank account. They'll let you get the car with a fucking loan and now you're in debt, paying off a car that you can't even fucking afford so you can be like, oh hey guys, like look at my fucking whip. And then you just leave the car in the fucking driveway and you don't, it doesn't get used that much. You just stole money from your future self. You just stole money from yourself in the future and now you have to work it off. Money that you could have used towards something else. Guess who's paying off that car for the next couple of years? Guess who better find a job? you you're going to sit in that car and you're going to get used to it in like three months one of my friends absolutely love him good guy but he's fucking stupid for buying a brand new car his car payments are like 500 dollars a month he can't even afford it just to say that he has a brand new blah blah blah, blah. right what the fuck man you did not have to get a brand new fucking car that you couldn't afford now your monthly payments are too expensive and now you have to work to pay it off. You couldn't even buy it. If you couldn't buy the car, why did you get it? You're in debt. And that is so common nowadays and it is so stupid for people to do. And they still do it. We think we'll be so much happier when we get the car, right? When we get the watch, the fucking new phone, the new gaming system or whatever, right? We won't. And you wanna know how I know we won't? because we've done it before when we were younger right remember when we were little kids and we would fucking scream at mom and dad to get us the new fucking la 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 the new fucking playstation the new oh can i get a toy or blah blah, blah blah i'm gonna be so happy when i get this toy oh my god i saw my friend with the toy and now i want the toy right it's so cool and then we get the toy and what do we do in a month we don't even fucking care about it We've done this before. We do this our entire fucking lives. We think that getting this fucking thing will make us so much happier and we get it and what happens? Eh. Just like even with some relationships, you get the person and then you 
realize that they're not what you expected, right? What happens to our emotions a couple of days after getting the thing? Fucking nothing. We go on to the next thing. Every successful person even says that materialistic things don't really have a return on ROI, right? A return on investment, if you don't know what that is. It's materialistic. Materialistic things do not improve your lives. Experiences do. Traveling, exploring, doing things with friends, going on trips, spending money to go skydiving, fucking camping, bungee jumping, something you enjoy, going to a concert, a fucking, I don't even know, a music festival, different city. These are the things that we actually remember and we enjoy, not the one single purchase instantly like that. You need to ask yourself what you actually want from this car. Peel back the layers, ask yourself why you think that getting this brand new car is going to make you happier, right? Do you want to be admired? Do you want to be loved? Do you want affection from people? Maybe you didn't get enough from mommy and daddy when you were younger. Translates to this, there's nothing wrong with that, just realize that that's what you're doing. Maybe you want people to be jealous of you, you want to be the guy pulling up in the fucking brand new whip, everyone turns their heads, right? Why? It doesn't make you happier deep down. Ask yourself why. And you'll be like, oh my God, I want appreciation. I want people to love me. Why? Because I just didn't get enough from mommy and daddy. Ask yourself these questions. Ask yourself the real reasons deep down why you value materialistic things. And if you haven't, I can tell you haven't been on self-improvement for a while. I can tell you don't journal. I can tell you're not introspective with yourself. I can tell you don't think about your decisions when you do them. You can save yourself thousands of dollars. You can save yourself so much time by not being materialistic, by not buying a 50 to $100,000 fucking car for the approval of people that you don't even give a fuck about. You want love and affection from people? Maybe you should give it out first. You can save all of this money, you can invest it into something that will actually make you more successful, make you more happy with your life. You don't need a brand new fucking BMW E7 3000, I don't fucking know, <laughs> okay? You don't have to put yourself in depth. You can't even afford it, so don't do it. I hope that helps you. Don't be materialistic, please. Peace.